Last time on Survivor. Allison lies to Twiggy, telling him Controller threw out his name, when it was really her. The main one who started it was Controller, and then mm -hmm. Archie was not the one that said your name, it was Controller. Leaving Twiggy with mixed feelings towards Controller. Ova finally calls out Zaddy for his behavior this far. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, you've been throwing out names since day one, trying to play this game harder than anyone else, even yeah. when there's been no reason to. You've yeah, thrown out no. four players on a re OG Red Stripe name out. Everybody has come to distrust you because you just want somebody out. At the challenge, the Akuko tribe won immunity, sending Chiwaki to the tribal council. The vote seemed obvious. Send Zaddy home. But at tribal council, Venom and Frosty J pulled a fast one by voting Ova, causing a Reva, which then resulted in Zaddy going home. Who will be one step closer to claiming sole survivor, and who will be voted out tonight? Were you the one who voted me? Yeah, it was. I, I figured, I figured, I mean, hey. I thought he had, had an idol and he was playing it up. You had to do what you had to do. Um, I don't really appreciate the fact that you voted me, especially because I was one of the three who actually kept your ass. I, I kind of just but, rolled the dice inside this one because I didn't know who to trust at this rate. I knew it. I, I just knew that everything was going a little too easy. And like, yeah, tribal went fine. But like, guess what? Ova voted me. And like, I kind of could tell it was Ova because, like, why would anybody else have a reason to? Ova knew his ass was getting a vote, so he wanted to vote me in case of an idol. Which, I mean, I'll be entirely honest, I don't think that would have worked anyways. I think his ass would have gone home in a tiebreaker. <laughs> um, I don't want to. I don't want to be cocky, but I do just genuinely feel like he would have gone home if it were, you know, five to one to one. Like he was seemingly planning on it. Yeah, no, I don't know. I just I just lost all trust with him. Not that I ever trusted him. I was planning on voting him out anyways, but now I kinda have that upper hand on him being like, haha, you voted me, so now what? But yeah. I didn't vote him. Not even on the revote. That was not me. I did not do that. And I feel like people are going to probably blame it on me because he voted me. And I knew that he voted me. I said it the second we got back to tribal, I knew that he voted me, even when I went to go cast out my revote, cause I just wanted uh What's his face gone? Zaddy, like, that's such a stupid username. Like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Girl, bye. I wanted him out from day one before I even met him. Not gonna lie. So, so happy when I heard that nobody liked him. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know. This was a real kick in the ass because I need to not feel so secure and I knew that I needed to and people are lying to me. Even my own alliance. Uh, you need to a random yeah. I thought it was when he... very simple all on Zaddy. I don't <laughs> yes. know where yeah. the free vote for you came you from. On the presenting. That vote was so needlessly complicated, and I feel like people don't think I voted Zaddy twice, but I was actually one of the people to do it. So I have to make sure people still trust me, which is annoying. Um, I mean, I'm glad about that result. That ending speech just made me feel 10 times better about my vote decision. My gut is telling me that Sam was one of the people to vote Ova just based off Zaddy saying that he felt good with Sam. Sam seems like a wild card and Sam started leading the charge so it just makes the most sense to me. And honestly, I don't think Frosty should be cleared either. I could see Frosty being worried that uh, Zaddy will have the idol and throws a vote on Ova to be safe. Does Does anyone want to admit, admit to being one of the Ova voters? <laughs> I'm just as confused as Poilat like, over on this. Over to you. No, vote the I was gonna say, did you vote yourself the fuck as Two people. Put yourself as one. <laughs> <Zaddy. laughs> I mean, realistically, we know there's two other people that voted over because it was Zaddy. And then, and then one person voted yeah. over both in the first vote, then the tie vote. I, I'm gonna be realistic. I don't see Frost voting over. You know, nah, maybe it's the blind mean, side of the season. It was actually like, the greatest play of all time. I actually voted him twice, even though I knew he wasn't going home the second vote. Dude, I'm a yeah. genius. Genius strategy. I just, just sold my, just sold my game. Over, and I know I didn't vote over. All right, realistically, Tribal was an absolute mess. It was terrible. And I was definitely part of the reason. I mean, I voted over because I think uh, KMAS put it great where he said, I don't think Frosty would vote over. My plan worked flawlessly. You put a vote on Ova, you turn everybody against each other, and you sit there all happy-go-lucky because, you know, no one expects you to vote him. So now everyone else is a target on their back. When we get to merge, we'll have Ova, whoever voted with me and Ova to get Zaddy out, and then hopefully Twiggy and Harrison. 
which gives us a good majority coming into merge. And no one has an idea that I am playing for myself and I'm willing to flip on my teammates. But, I mean, I got away with the vote. That's all that matters in this scenario. I'm looking good. I've still got my advantage in my back pocket, you know? But the game goes on from here, playing for myself. The farther I get in this game, the better. As long as I'm not going home, I'm happy. It's I know this could have been such a good way for us to unify. <laughs> no, it would have been fine if one of you didn't vote over second round like an idiot. Like, what, what was the play there? Whoever did it, like, no harm, no foul, but what was going through your head in that moment? Oh, okay. Well, I, I survived. Uh, not entirely sure how. I, if I was given the opportunity to vote me out over Zaddy, I would have voted for these two. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Zaddy is a completely worthless player in this season, and honestly, like, part of it was he threw my name out, which was, like, frustrating, but he was also just messing with the season so much. And to see somebody still vote for me in the revoke, it kinda hurts, but, like, it's also understandable. Like, I would've taken the same opportunity, too. I can't be too mad, I just wish I could know who said it and who did it so I can know which alliances I need to trust a little bit less than I have been. Because I was like, I could have been tight with uh, Venom. I can be tight with Ca uh, Ca Camus. I could be uh, tight with Samage and Estella. But hopefully my voting for Estella hasn't ruined anything. I still really want to play this game with them. It was just one of those, either I go or some possibly somebody else goes. I had to make sure there was a third option. I couldn't risk the 50-50 there. But I'm glad to still be here and kissing the nice crystal mountain. Do you feel like fixing things or like many things over with Allison is worth it? Or do you think it's just better to let it go? Like, what do you feel is best for I, you? I think it's just for me is to just let it go. Well, cross that bridge when we get to it. I have had some time to reflect on the Archer vote, and I kind of realized how fake these people are. Like, I, I really felt like I could, you know, come in this game and control some stuff and make moves, but it's clear that these people don't trust me. I feel very betrayed by faith. I really, really did trust her, and she kind of just ruined that for no reason, so I don't know. I, I really want to get my revenge right now because I'm, I'm a little bit sad about it because Arjo was definitely someone that I felt very, very close to. Yeah, yeah, I'll support either decision. So like if you did decide you wanted to like talk with her, I could like help in any way I can because. Oh yeah, um, her and I had a brief conversation after um, the challenge when we got back. Um, she said she felt betrayed and all that and I made sure that you know my intentions were valid in the sense that Archer was throwing names out there and if he's gonna be playing a wild card and tossing all these names out there we gotta isolate and you know take that out because his intentions were to blindside so mm -hmm. fired back and right. Yeah. I know I don't have the the power or the resources to make a move right now. So I just I just need to make sure I can like scrap my way up. Cause I need to be scrappy. If I can scrap my way up on the totem fall, then maybe I won't be the next one to go. So like is there anyone else like in particular that you trust? No, not really. Nothing like um uh, nothing outside of the core that we got going, you know. With... I feel the same way. So, so yeah. We just chilling. I thought we were in the uh, the best spot possible. It turns out, you know, some improvements need to be made. I thought I was like doing really well after that archer move. You know, I made it a bit more complicated than I would have liked, but it all worked out in the end. And I felt like I had strong bond with a lot of people especially at Dachi, you know he was being a little paranoid but now i got him and uh hopefully if i can build this relationship that'll be a good a good duo that we can have for the late game and i feel like i got chomp as well i feel like we're building a little something there and i thought that i have my boy twiggy but he seems to be closer with faith which shouldn't have happened because what was supposed to happen was allison was at the bottom which that's still happening allison 
it's probably going if we go to travel. Like I'm so like thankful, like to you, really. So. Oh hey, don't don't even mention it. I knew you and Harrison were like people I wanted to connect with early on, and then I saw we were not in the same tribes. And I'm like, well. <laughs> But it was supposed to be Alistair versus Faith. They were supposed to go back and forth, which would have put Faith on the bottom. But now Twiggy's getting all close to Faith, and Faith's getting all close to Twiggy, and now I'm starting to lose my bonds with both of them, which is not good for me. So maybe if we go back, maybe I'd have to split that up. Maybe form some bonds with Allison, maybe repair that little relationship, get a bit closer with Harrison, closer to Chomp as well. If I could get a Dachi on board, maybe it could work, but... I don't know, I felt like I could I could have trusted both of them and now they're getting all buddy buddy and now I'm feeling a little a little suspicious, but you know, you never know, there's still game to be played if I have to go to the merge with both of them. You know, I'm just gonna try and get closer to them as well, as well as everyone else and uh hope for the best. I still think I'm in a pretty good spot, but uh yeah, there's still work to be done, it seems. Everybody, welcome to your second tribe swap. Oh my God. You, I was joking. Do you enjoy your stuff? Survivors, reveal your new tribe in three, two, one. Okay. Oh. Well, that's, that's what happens. Oh oh. Finally, I'm not red. You have earned a trip to the Crystal Mountain. You will not be cast on a tribe, but instead enjoy a journey to the Crystal Mountains. Here you will have a chance to find an advantage and speak to a past winner. Head on out. Cochran? Oh, oh, I don't which one it is. Cochran? Cochran? John Cochran in the appearance. Yo, Allison, oh, it's uh, your you trade spot. Allison, turn around. Head on back where you came from. Someone will come pick you up and Bye, bring you Allison. to the Crystal Have Mountains. With John Cochran. Oh, bye bye. Hey, Cochran. I, I hate Cochran, I'm gonna be honest. Yes. So, Ova, initial thoughts on your new tribe? I mean, I don't see anybody I dislike here, which, I mean, is a plus side, but it's kind of scary there only being four of us. <laughs> I think that's the part that's uh, getting a little scary for me, seeing only four people on the same tribe, which I don't know if that seems off to anybody else, but it seems like some small numbers for a tribe. And Harrison, you know? Uh, second swap, four players, uh, one new player on your tribe now. How you feel? Oh, I mean, I feel great. Uh, you know, we got some some old faces, some new faces. Uh, I think we're going to do great in the challenges, so uh, I'm happy. And lastly, Frost. So now you see three other players from your first swap tribe. How do you feel going back to camp, and is it going to cause any problems? Not at all. I mean, we have three, well, four people from the previous tribe. But with what went down on Tribal Council, I wouldn't be surprised if there's already significantly lines drawn in the sand that I don't know about. But I treat these three like my brothers, I give them food, and we have a good time. Alright, three new tribes, and a whole new game. We will not be going back to camp, and we'll be going straight to the Immunity Challenge. Let's do it. All 
Alright, everybody, welcome to your next immunity challenge. Adachi, I'll take it back. Here you go. Only one tribe going to tribal council, so that means two immunities on the line. In this next immunity challenge, all three tribes will attempt to shoot arrows through glass walls. Then once it reaches the final glass wall, then that player will attempt to shoot six lights on. The first two tribes to do so will win immunity. Survivor's ready? Go. Let's go. All right, grab as many arrows as you want. You don't have to grab them one at a time. You shoot them all you once you have them in your own. Well, you don't have to shoot over, you shoot the glass pane. Could go with some arrows. See as many arrows as you want. Then oh. people at the very top you yeah. just have to shoot. Jesus, oh, yeah. Have to run a few parkour jumps behind them and then start shooting. Better backtrack a little bit. Back. Here, I'm in the perfect spot. Just keep shooting them right there. Perfect. Yeah, that's that's all I'm doing. This okay. Hey, go to the right a bit. You. Oh, yellow's got four lights on, but they turn off. How would they? Turn oh, off? You that have was to all get about. Them consecutively. You have to get them all on at once. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it falls off. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Adachi, the only one that so far hit one of his buttons on. It's all so far over at Mine's over half, but not too far over. Adachi with four lights on. How does he have four? And with that, yellow wins immediately. Yeah, oh, 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 pink or red. First up. Oh my god, that was amazing. Oh, we had like a whole gone. train going. That was sick. Oh, yeah. I would. Oh, red with four lights on. Oh, pink with three! Pink, pink wins the community! Let's go! Oh my god! Wow. In a very oh, yeah. close <laughs> battle! Alrighty! Congratulations, Yellow Tribe! Come on up and get the first place idol. Let's fucking go. This feels better than LSD. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yes. And Pink Tribe! Come on up and Here, grab second, the second place idol. No, James, James, you go get it. You okay. Go get it. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. And with that, Sam, Frost, Venom, and Estelle, one of you guys will be the next person voted off in this game. Everyone, hit a mic's can. Ah, hello! Hello! Hello, welcome Hi. to my lair! Congratulations, you get these random thingamajiggies. You've also made it to the merge. You are the first participant of the merge. The rest of these bastards are losers. You are the winner. After the tribe swap, I see that I have gotten a reward to go to the Crystal Mountain. Um, it sounds a bit scary, but when I do get out there, I get to meet a past winner. Um, the winner of season four, and I thought it was really fun. Later, I he told me that I made merch. And I'm like so excited because I was a little bit scared I was going to be voted off early. You have to make their children cry every single day. You have to make them, you have to make, bring them pain in this game. Want to make them go on top of a cliff and maybe jump. But it's not your fault because it, it, it's, they're weak. You're strong. Yes, you get this. You get this. You're going to get a challenge advantage. I have no idea what it is. No idea what it is. I'm I, I think good. It, you have there found you the challenge advantage. You can use this advantage at the following challenges. Final 12, final 11, final 6, final 7. How to use it. Play this advantage before the challenge begins and after Kavex explained that challenge, this will give you an advantage in a challenge of your choosing based on what's listed on the page before. Alright. So, final 12, final 11. Probably gonna use it then, I'm gonna be honest. I found a challenge advantage which will help me moving forward because I'm not that great at challenges but 
hopefully with this advantage I'll be able to win an immunity because like I don't think I've ever won an immunity in Minecraft Survivor and that would be so cool so I'm just praying for that. What's been happening in this game? Who you with? Who you close with? Who you think you can kill? I am gonna murder and slaughter all of them because they deserve it. Yes! Yes, yes, they're they all losers. They all betrayed exactly. me and really? gave Axe a bitch. Yeah. Ooh, wait, they betrayed you? What happened? Who betrayed you? They all voted out my ally. Oh, okay, that's bad. Who were those people? Well, basically, Faith yeah. betrayed our little pink alliance, so... That's not nice. That's not okay. Faith, that's one. Adachi, basically, um, when we were, like, walking up, um, I mm -hmm. got the white one, and then he tried to mm -hmm. steal it from me, and now he's like, Oh, I'm sorry for taking your spot. You know how greed gets to people. I don't Ooh. forgive you. Ooh, you got this is some th some things you can use when you go to the final tribal council he tried to take some of your belongings but you had him in a battle do you have more people because at some point you're gonna need to get more people uh in your team to be able to defeat your enemies you need Honestly, a good group i'm just gonna lay under the radar no mm -hmm. one really views me as a threat right now but i made mm -hmm. merch mm -hmm. some of them didn't so there you go. That that is true. But remember, around like final when like the next day comes, around final seven, eight, nine, you want to start, you know, putting your voice a bit more in the open, like, you know, uh, talking more strategy, making your uh, decisions, because like you don't you you don't want to make it to the end and get no votes. You want to make it to the end, and you know you want to speak your whole game and prove to the jury why you deserve their vote. So it's good to be calm, especially at the beginning of merge. The first three, four votes, yeah, be calm. Don't, don't worry about it. All right, well, James, welcome to the pink camp. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty pretty similar to the other camps. Uh, yeah, yeah. Red, where I was. <laughs> it is very similar. <laughs> so you've now been on every color. Uh, I know, it's so weird. Yeah, that's that's really cool. You know, you're on, <laughs> hey, that's to be a lot it's a lot of buffs for your collection. Well, I have to throw out the old ones, but <laughs> imaginary collection, yeah. So this swap wasn't the best case scenario. I'm on a tribe with very few numbers. I don't know anyone who is here. So I'm basically in survival mode. They've all at least had the swap to get to know each other. And I don't know if they're working together. They very well could be. So I just have to do my best to hope we win enough immunity to make merge. Uh, this is the scariest position my game is in, but I'm not losing hope. I'm gonna still talk around and hopefully make some friends and allies, but we'll see. If I make merge, it will be helpful. We, we were kind of like discussing in, in passing, but you know, just was there any bad, like obviously you're good vibes, you can keep to yourself, of course, <laughs> but was there any was there any bad vibes you were getting from anybody in particular? So it, it's a bit of a weird situation. Um, so I, I could spill the tea about the last vote. So basically the minute we swapped, like Zaddy went in like a confessional, then like immediately everyone was like, oh, Zaddy was throwing out so many names in OG Red. He has to go. Okay, so uh, we managed to win the first round, which obviously a very important victory for us given how close we are to the merge. Uh, the only person that I didn't know previously was James, but they, they seem pretty cool, so I think as of right now, Harris and I are in a very good position to make the merge and hopefully make it all the way. Only time will come. Then the vote came in and it was a 3 3 1, which completely wow. blew me away. Who was um, the one for? Uh, it was for Estelle, and Obit Estelle. admitted that he was the one to do that because he was worried about the idol. Um, and then we re-voted and it was a uh, it was a 4-1 for Zaddy going. Alright, so we just think we're heading into another basic challenge, you know, another cab challenge and uh, cab tries to pull a fast one on us it's another tribe swap, as if we haven't had enough torture already what's her face? I can't even think of what her name is, she went to the island of irrelevancy or whatever the island's called, I can't remember she's talking to a past winner uh, next season, that'll be me, because they'll be talking to me. But going into the challenge, Faith and I hatched up a plan. Basically, we didn't want to get first. We were okay with getting last. But if the opportunity arose where we could make sure Red got last, we would do that. So basically, during the challenge, I'm just sitting there absorbing as many arrows as I can, hoarding them, hoarding them, and waiting to see what happens. If 
red wins, like red finishes first and wins immunity, then I just throw and let yellow win second place and we go to tribal. But if yellow finishes first, which they did, then I would head back and I would go ham and hitting those lights and try to get red to get last place. Why? Because again, we can go to our tribe, can go to tribal council and easily vote out James by Sia. But if we can make red lose, that means they're going to lose a number, hopefully Sam, crossing fingers, and then that's just bad for me overall, because if we lose, we can still get rid of James. But overall, things are going good. Right, I'm so happy I wasn't on red. I would I would have been fucked. But bro, you literally would have been with like Camus. Uh, you would have been with a bunch of people who probably would have also voted me out. So like, yeah. would Sam would have been like the color. only one who probably would have kept me because we were on OG pink, but he wouldn't have been there because he's the one that took my spot. And I have an odd feeling Allison's advantage is going to get played instantly. She has if they advantage. lose. She does. She's going to get one well, for sure. She, well, the note said you get a, a past survivor player and an advantage in this game. Shit, man. And I was like, okay, so you're just, okay, goodbye, Allison. That's like ridiculous. What the fuck? So do we think that there's going to be like, I mean, obviously there has to be idols in play. Well, yeah, I was about to say that. But none have been played. Is. None have been played. So maybe there just aren't any. Territory. It really is too easy. When we try and swap, I was a little worried because, you know, Twiggy and Controller, they didn't really have the best track record in these challenges, but thankfully, Twiggy wanted the fucking volunteer for the bows. And I was like, Twiggy, shut the fuck up. I'm doing it. And luckily he listened to me and we were able to pull out the win. Let's do introductions, gentlemen. Yeah, let's do this before yeah. we get started. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll start. Hey, Twiggy. All right, hello. I'm Controller, 19, almost 20. Hi, Controller. Hi, Controller. Thank you. I'm Ova. I am 17. I come from a great old state of... Oh, wait, not state. I don't want to say my state. What the f I work in a nursing home, and I come from the good old U.S. of A. I'm Adachi. I'm 18. I'm from Chicago. <sighs> okay. okay. <sighs> Your turn in the AA circle. <sighs> Sorry, I had to yawn, bro. Like, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. A challenge today made me on. No, it <laughs> was. God. Honestly, we were steamrolling. <sighs> I'm sweet. <laughs> 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 I'm tired as fuck. Oh my god. All right, nice to meet you guys. See ya. Yeah. All right. I yeah. mean, I'll just say this, like, <laughs> right now. I would have admitted if I voted Ova in the Revo, because I was the only one here with, like, a genuine reason to do that, because I, I mean, knew he But, like, yeah. I swear, like, on my grandma, and I don't fuck around with that shit, like, I did not vote for... Yeah, Sam, mm -hmm. you seem too smart to do that, and Venom, you seem too quiet to make a dumb move, so... Yeah, I confirmed with each of you that I was going to vote for Zaddy. Yeah. I mean, so so did literally everybody else. It's, it's, I got a DM from Venom. I got a DM from Sam. Venom. Yeah, I, 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 I think I went to all three of you before. Like, if we're voting, okay, tell me. <laughs> I was that so no, I yeah, said that too. Because I said before, and you said, I'm voting to, to Zaddy. And then I got a DM from Cameron Samaj, who also said I'm voting Zaddy during the council. Never in a million years could I have imagined the chaos of me voting for Ova would bring. The fact that the vote tied, and then the fact we all had to, quote unquote, sit down and figure it out. Dude, thank God. Like, the only chaos I enjoy is chaos that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> but now, going here, I hope I have all the power. I have an extra vote. <laughs> so what's the play? Yeah, see, here's the thing. I'm be, like, straight up with you. I'm kind of paranoid about his constant talk of... Like, all his relationship with his old tribe all the time. You feel me on that? I'm gonna, yeah, as, as, as I, I hate to say that I don't trust it, and I hate to say that I do, but he's, I don't, if, if he has, he's played up the, I'm, I'm on the lone pink, I'm just an extra vote. Don't vote me out, guys, I'm not a threat. He's played it up a bunch, and if, and if that's really how he feels, and if that's really how he wants to play the game, fair play. But if he's just using it to get further in the game by just flying under the radar, it's also fair play, but... I don't know, because I feel like if he gets to the merge, 
He's one of the people that's just been genuinely likable the whole game. He's liked by the red tribe that we had. Apparently he's liked by his pink tribe before. And exactly. he becomes an immediate jury threat. So yeah. do we act now? Or do we wait, let him get to merge and see what happens? So, the OVA vote went surprisingly well. No one knows that I voted OVA. Sam doesn't suspect me, Venom doesn't suspect me, Estelle doesn't suspect, suspect me. And I was able to play off that so unbelievably well. I mean, they're all looking at each other saying, who voted OVA, they're gonna flip next. And this is one of the votes that you come to where you don't want to have to vote somebody out, but you do. Venom brought up Sam, brought up some immunity, vote steals. I'm the hero to fix my game. I mean, I talked to Big Talk at the beginning of the challenge. I said, you know, if I lose, vote me out. And to be fair, that's Sam's idea is vote me out. Completely fair. It's a game he's taken, playing the best of his game. And I made a mistake. I played a worse, I played a bad game. But I think I've got Estelle and Venom with me to vote Sam out. He's probably the biggest jury threat we have. Generally really liked. He's liked by the red group. He's liked by the pink group. It's just scary to have him in. And I think Venom kind of feels betrayed after being probably lied to about the vote, uh, at a vote, but we'll find out. If I go home, I go home. We ball, swinger gets swung. I'm gonna be straight up with you. I'm getting a little paranoid about Sam's constant talk of Man, you know, I got a lot of great connections with my old tribe and like this constant yeah. run after round of, oh, you know, like I'm just over here, don't mind me. Which if that's his strategy, cool. But if it keeps working over and over and over again, eventually we're just going to keep letting him get away with it. It's a bit suspicious to me, but can I like be honest, like trust you and Frosty? Oh my God, I feel so fucking bad if we're voting for Sam because I just promised him I wouldn't vote for him. And he was like promising me that he wouldn't vote for me. Oh my God, it, it just, it kills me because I gave him my word that I wasn't going to vote for him. And I have a lot more trust in him than I do Frosty. I swear my mother's life, I'm not voting oh. you as now. And I hope you can say the same for me. I swear to God, I'm not voting for you. Like I genuinely okay. trust you so much and I feel like those are two. I also don't want to vote Ven Venom. I'll be honest about that. I don't want to vote Venom, but Venom's proven it's pretty difficult to trust him. <laughs> and it's just like, he's just been doing so much. He's been doing just the utmost and it quite literally kills me inside to even think about voting for him. Yeah, so here's the thing, right? There's four people. There's you and me. I feel solid with you one million percent. I have an extra vote, so at the end of the day, only you and I can decide who goes home tonight if I play my extra vote. Do you really want to play it now? I feel like Sam and Frosty are going after each other. I, I'll, I'll admit, <laughs> when else is a better time to play it than on a tribe of four people? <laughs> yes, also, ultimately, also bottom line, you and I make the final call. Going into this vote, I think me and Estelle have all the power, I have my extra vote, we have the final say, and that is fantastic. So tonight I need to see if I want to work with Frost or if I want to work with Sam. And after I make that decision, I'm probably going to have a lot of explaining to do, but I think I can pull it off. Listen man, I'll be straight up with you, I actually learned some interesting information. So Samaj, uh, when we were all sitting around that campfire, he messaged me, and he is reasonably confident that Frost was the one who voted for Ova. That would be goddamn full the galaxy, right? <laughs> I know, well, because I was talking with him, it's like, alright, it wasn't you, it wasn't me, couldn't have been Sam, it wasn't Estella, Ova you voted for Estella. You could see my confusion in my messages, you could see that. Yes, absolutely, and it's like, you know what, is it so stupid for Frost to vote for Ova that it actually makes sense for him to vote for Ova to confuse everyone? Really, really want to survive this round. I made the full personal lines with Venom, Estelle, and uh, James last round, right? I did that in case something like this would happen. Obviously I thought it would be two tribes of six, not three tribes of four. But you never know what happens. Venom has... I don't know what Venom's doing. He's kind of being a bit untrustworthy, but at the same time it could be Frost. Frost could have 4D galaxy brain there. I don't know. I, I trust Estella. I want to trust Estella. But at the same time, I am so nervous that I could be getting folks here because... Oh my god, I cannot stress enough how much I want to survive. Alrighty, Venom, Frost, Sam, Estelle, welcome back to Tribal Council, 
but one of you will be the next player voted off in this game. Let's get straight to questions. Estelle, coming into this tribal council with three other players that you have been playing in this game with for a while, and now you are forced to vote one of them off. So where's your head at in this situation? It makes me sad, because I like all three of these people. Like, I genuinely enjoy them as, like, people in the game. And, you know, as much as I'm like, oh, it's like I just like think, like, oh, yeah, I'm like a strategic player and stuff, I... I mean, I'm, I'm emotional, especially like, it's just so weird. It's it's so weird. It's, ugh, fuck, I, I don't know. I'm sad and I don't want to do this and I don't want to be here and I wish we could have avoided this, but we can't, so. Uh, so Frost, um, tell me what's like the difference between a tribe of eight versus a tribe of four? Because coming to a tribal council with just four people, there's less people to talk to, which makes more talking in between individuals. I mean, I'm sitting here with four other people. I'm a lot more scared than I was in a council with Zaddy and Nova, where there's more people to vote. I mean, there's a one in four chance each person votes me, or one in three. Um, I'm on the edge of my seat, literally. Uh, I am nervous. I am scared. I do not want to go home, but I mean, I'll take, I'll step up and say I sold the challenge. There's not more that I can do than that, but I'm <laughs> genuinely nervous. So Sam, would you agree that? If at any time, now is probably the best time to play any advantages, if anyone were to have them. I think this vote is going to be 1-3. to three. I don't think it's going to be a 2-2, two to two. so this, I'm just so bloody stressed, because this is emotional for me as well. Because Kev, you know how long I've been waiting to play your Survivor Series. And lastly, Venom. Just tell me, Venom, what's going through your mind? About a million different things are going through my head. I mean... Well, obviously, you know, you, you like to think that this is just a game, and you know, on a on a surface level, it is. I mean, we're playing Minecraft, playing Survivor. <laughs> but you know, even if like on the surface, maybe that seems a little, you know, wacky to put it that way. Like you know, you spend so much time. Like we've spent hours talking with these guys, just hanging out, chilling, and being like, I genuinely same as Estelle. I, I genuinely like everyone here. Like, I don't have any ill feelings towards anyone. I I wish we weren't here. I wish we couldn't vote each other out. But, you know, obviously someone does have to go home tonight. I know that. But that doesn't make it easy. And whatever comes out of this, I know like we're all still going to be, like, strongly connected at the end of the day. And that's just that's just how it will go. All right. Well, it's obvious that you four have become very close with each other over the past couple hours. But let's find out who became the closest. Estelle, you have the vote. When I say that I think you are like actually like a great person, I don't want to do this. I've made that very obvious. I like all of you. So I'm going to be voting for Frost for my first vote, and then when you ask for advantages, I'm going to play my extra vote and vote for Frost again. And then I'm also going to blame the OVA vote, vote on Frost, because I'm just going to sort of play into Estelle, Sam, and uh, Samaj thinking like it was a 4D chess move. Oof, I think I'm okay. All of you have voted. I will now return the votes. I have tallied the votes. If anyone has an enemy animal or an image to play, now would be the time to do so. Alright. Actually, hang on there, Kev. So, on a tribe this small, I don't want to risk anything. You know, I'm, I'm sorry that I kept this a secret, but, Venom, you know, I'm sure Please this... trust me here. You're not getting votes. I do, I trust you. I trust you 100%, but I just. Kev. I would like to play what I am 99% sure is an extra vote, or it could be a piece of paper. Let me know. Venom, this is a real extra vote. Venom will cast Ooh. an extra vote, making it the fifth vote in the Shopper Council. Venom, go vote. Okay, I am going to be voting for Frost. Sorry, brother.
just kind of is the way it is. Let's see how this plays out. All right. I'll go receive the final vote. Um, please, not me, man. I have tallied all five votes. If anybody else has a hidden immunity at all, or an advantage to scan the link to play, now would be the time to do so. Alrighty then. I read the votes. First vote. Frosty J. Second vote. Frosty J. That's two votes, Frosty J. Sam. That's two votes, Frosty J. One vote, Sam. Two votes left. And the next player voted off of season nine, the Crystal Mountains. Frosty J. He's gonna be your torch. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> GG, my guy. Sorry, brother. Hey, hey, life happens. I respect it. I don't want to come clean and say, I played my 40 chess. I voted over. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Fair play to everyone. You live long and prosper. Frost, Travis spoken. Time to go. I respect every single one of you guys. Fair play. Estelle. Venom, Sam, God you guys damn. stuck true to the original alliance. Congrats. Thank Everybody God I made that alliance. Take your torch. I could fucking go. Sam, damn. how are you feeling? Oh, you were um, so nervous. No, my torch back Oh, my bad. Here you go. I mean, I played my game. I played hard, I played what I think was smart, but, you know, not everything goes your way. And if my game ends because I can't shoot a bow, my game ends because I can't shoot a bow. Good luck to everyone else. Fair play. Stay tuned for more from our next episode. Next time on Survivor. And welcome to the merge! Oh my god. Oh, Drop yeah. your buffs! Yeah. So we get to the merge and everybody's looking for the idol. I'm I'm just, looking for a horse. Just here. And I'm not sure how good of terms you are with Faith right now. I'm um, fine with her, it's just she showed her true colors. <laughs>